Hello. Welcome to PCCL. You are okay? To study the vaporization of a pure substance, that is to say the transition from the liquid phase to vapor, we will take as an example distilled water, which we will bring to a boil in the heating mantle which is there. Measure the temperature. Read it every minute using the stopwatch. Note that I said boil. Evaporation which is a surface phenomenon will not be mentioned here. So the temperature is rising. The animation shows us here, in section, what is happening in the round bottom flask. At first, other than the temperature rising, there isn't much to observe. So, I will suspend the recording. Since the water has reached 55 degrees Celsius, we notice small bubbles that detach from the walls of the flask. We could believing that it is water which would have passed to the state of vapor to make bubbles, and that the change of state would be in progress. It isn't. These small bubbles, it is oxygen which was dissolved and it therefore does not concern our subject which is the phase change of water. 100 degrees Celsius. We observe much larger bubbles that burst on the surface of the water. It is boiling. The change of state is in progress, therefore transition from the liquid state to the gaseous state of water. During this transformation, Normally, the level of liquid water decreases a little. There, it does not appear clearly. We will be able to draw the curve now, by placing the dots. So the first is at 16. One hundred. The temperature no longer evolves as soon as the change of state has started. So when there is both the liquid phase and the gas phase of water, the temperature remains stable. It is constant is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. I specify for an open flask without stopper. There is no cover, it is open to the air, it is open to the atmosphere. We conclude that when we do heat water, well, having arrived at the change of state, no matter how hard we heating heating heating, water will never be obtained at a temperature higher than 100 degrees Celsius, if it is done under the conditions of the experiment, as here, with an atmospheric pressure around 1013 hectopascals. It's no use. It will remain at 100. We could not have 102 103 even if it takes a quarter of an hour. All that will happen is that there will be no more water in the container. That's it for this video. Thank you.